Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Regarding Islamic worship rituals, the misconception I'd like to bring into discussion today relates to one of the Hajj rituals and that is uh, Rami and specifically the issue at hand is, is there a time which has been fixed for Rami? Now we know that Rami itself is, uh, is a whole process in which stones are hurled or thrown at a symbolic manifestation of Satan and when we do so, we actually uh, commit ourselves, we make this commitment to God that we are going to uh, pelt Satan, with, uh, just as we are pelting Satan with stones uh, who is before us, we are going to do the same when we go back from Hajj and in our daily lives we will encounter Satans and devils all over, uh, not only outside but within us as well. So we declare war on Satan and uh, we make this symbolic expression of this fact. Now the question that has uh, gripped minds these days is that, uh, is there a time which has been fixed for Rami? Uh, we know that at first uh, on the 10th of Zilhaj when the pilgrims they move from Muzdalifah to Arafat and then they go to Mina at that time they pelt stone at Satan at the Jamrai Aqba. Uh, obviously whenever the caravan reaches there, whenever people reach there, there is no issue in that particular uh, time uh, or case. Whenever they reach there, they have to pelt stones. However, the issue that has come up is uh, during the time when the pilgrims reside in Mina once they return from Tawaf and say from the Baytullah. Uh, once they return and stay in Mina and they stay there for two or three days, uh, they are required to pelt stones at each of the three Jamaras, uh, seven stones at each of the three uh, Jamaras. And the issue is that is there a time which has been fixed for these three or two or three days? And the question has arisen because the Prophet in his own times, uh, when he stayed three days in Mina, he in, the, on the, in the first day he pelted stones after the time of Chasht, and uh, which is obviously the time uh, in which uh, the, 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 the sun is uh, fully there in the sky and it has risen in the sky. And in the next two days he pelted stones when the sun had started uh, to come down. So people think that the Prophet by his own practice has guided us that these are the times in which we should also do this Rami. Whereas the fact of the matter is that he in his stone times fixed his times of Rami according to his own convenience. He did not say that this is required by the Sharia. And we, we know from this from his practice. So what the, the guidance that he, that he gave in this regard was that the Ummah or his followers also, according to their own convenience, they can do Rami at any time. It is not that the Sharia or the Prophet Muhammad has fixed or prescribed a certain particular time that the Rami has to be done at this time. So what needs to be understood is the time of Rami, which has become a hot subject of debate in, the, in, the, in Hajj rituals whenever they come. Uh, it, it should be remain clear that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu has not prescribed any time for Rami. It can be done in those three days at any time of one's convenience. Akulukwa lihaza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisaril muslimina wal muslimat.